What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as a Seattle Vikings. Look at that. Pittsburgh's pick was third overall. That is hilarious. <laughs> so we got the third overall pick here in the coming draft after we just won the Stanley Cup. This team is just built so friggin' well now. <laughs> Alright, so we got that to look forward to. Um, view draft class. Yeah, let's check it out here. See if we want to pin anyone. See what looks like it's uh, going. Third overall, there's a nice defenseman there. Not that we need one. There's also some snipers. Right wingers. Yeah, I don't really want that defenseman because we have all those really good uh, defensemen coming up. Yeah. We have this guy ranked as uh, our number one. Central scouting at number two. But we won't be able to get him at three, most likely. Jesus, he is a goal scorer. But we might be able to go for, like, this Haley dude. Good leader, respected. Similar to Solani, ridiculous point scorer. Yeah. We'll probably go for Haley, because we don't really need that defense. We don't really need forwards either, to be honest, but hey. <laughs> We can grab him. Yeah. The defenseman's good and all. He's got, obviously, all the great traits, but... We got Lampman. We got Paris. We got Kubis. We got Stoll. I mean, we don't really need another defenseman, especially another lefty. So, that's why I'm looking elsewhere. If, if Park, for some reason, would fall back, then we'll get him. If not, we'll definitely go for Haley, I think. But, uh, what else here? Goldsender... Value. These are all later picks, so definitely want to have them uh, pinned. This guy's a gem, so pin him. That's about it. From the medium elites, the low elites. Wow. Pin. I guess we'll pin all of them. We, we'll probably miss out on a lot, but just pin them so we know where all the... Oh, my God. You're, when your scout's so good, that auto scout is good enough to get all these dudes scouted. Goodness. <laughs> so I'll pin all those guys. Oh, man. We don't even have that many picks, but whatever. All right, so that's that. We're getting up to the draft. Now, before we get into it, I want to show you a couple extensions I worked out, and uh, one of them I think you guys will really like. Phil Kessel retires. So, poor Phil Kessel. We ruined his hopes and dreams for another cup. Great great career, though. 1,500 points on the dot. Good for you, Phil Kessel. Giroud didn't quite get there, but less games played. He had a better uh, point to game ratio than uh, Phil Kessel did. Steven Stamkos also retired to age 38. Um, yeah, he's got that bad potential, so it makes sense. Giroux, maybe even Kessel. I mean, no, he's got that bad potential. So, yeah, it makes sense that all of those guys retire. Uh, Jamie Benn, 38 years old, retires. Maybe with his play style, could have played another year. But, again, with his play style, maybe that, you know, the careers get cut a bit short. Voracek, don't know anything about. Braden Shen, yeah, it makes sense. Even at age, well, at age 36, his kind of play style, you could say he plays another year in the depth or something, but that's about it. Skinner, short career for him. Didn't hit the 1,000 point mark, unfortunate, and Matt Duchesne as well. All right, so those are the main ones there. The goaltender retirements here. Braden Holtby retires. Very good career numbers. 0.918 save percentage, 2.44 goals against average over his career with 71 shutouts. Didn't quite hit that 1,000 game plateau, but that's very hard to do for a goaltender in this day and age. Uh, Mason retires, Anderson retires, Varlamov, Allen. And all right, uh, those are pretty much the main ones. Domingan Campbell, sort of backup slash AHLers through most of their career. All right, so that does it for retirements here. And before we get into the draft... Oh, no! Goligoski is retired. How old was he? Can you I guess you can't check. <laughs> but he retired. He's like, my work's done. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now, before we uh, get into the draft here, I want to show you a couple things. First thing, we got the man. He sure... And even in spite of not wanting an extension, I was able to get him to 12.5 a year. Now, the thing is, I got it for uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Or, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just 7 because he can't go past that. Let's see. Count backwards. 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 
Yep, so seven. I'm pretty sure I, I wouldn't have given him eight. Now he's 29. Seven takes him up till he's 36. Or maybe it was eight because it could take him up until he's 37. The thing about the, the reason why I do that, even though we might not be uh, carrying this franchise on that long, is that a player of his caliber with that overall won't even decline too heavily as he gets older. Like usually star players like that don't even really decline until like 36, 35. Maybe, like usually they don't decline until later down the road. So part of that's part of the reason that I felt comfortable enough giving him that deal. And that's a very good deal at this point in time for a first line center. 12.5 million is, is very good. Especially for for one who brings what he does to the table. So all right, that's uh Heischer's extension. That's really the only one I want to talk about, actually. I didn't I gave Leach like a two-year extension to play some depth for us, but yeah. We gotta think about what we uh, want from Manning now. He's on that really good contract for two more years, but you look at what this guy does, and it's just like he had that one good year, he got 66 points, but other than that. 50 point score that's bare minimum for a second line 39 and 71 45 and 82 like he's playing in the liga apparently um it's just like it's just not good enough and playoffs especially 10 points in 23 games played 3 points in 9 12 points in 26 this one was his best one 10 points in 19 7 points in 13 is okay but it's just it's just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about this guy, but he just doesn't seem to get the job done. So, I think we we don't trade him at the draft or anything like that, but I think we need to reassess what we what we need. Like, we can get go for another center, or maybe we have someone internally to, to replace him at center, but I just, this guy's just not good enough. I don't think, and you guys have been saying it. I've been trying to give him all the chances, you know, because I love the way he was growing. He would fit perfectly into that second line role as, you know, really good too, like 85, 86, perfectly in the second line with those kind of offensive stats. But he just, I don't know. We're, I don't know why he doesn't quite get the job done. So it's looking like he should be uh, hitting that block this year. And I will likely be doing that. Now, unfortunately, none of these other guys can, like, take face-offs. It's like, Colborn can't really take face-offs. Bermanis can't take face-offs. 62 is just not good enough. Karpovsev can't take face-offs. 68 is just not good enough. So we'd have to get another center. And we have plenty of assets to package along with it. But, yeah, that's what's happening. Yule Levy was a rental. We're uh, probably not getting, we're not getting him back. We have no cap space right now, but don't worry about that. <laughs> we'll get a, we'll get some freed up this next coming year. All right, so let's just get into the draft right now and not have to worry about too, too much. So we got the third overall pick here. And like I said, I don't think that power forward, they, always, they usually always go by central scouting ranking. So that power forward is likely not dropping back the third, so... We should probably pick the guy who's listed to go fourth because, yeah. Magic hands, good skating, pro release, good leader, respected in the locker room, and very loyal. Those are, like, all three really good things. Because very loyal means he shouldn't ever, like, not want an extension and he should want pretty team-friendly deals. So that's a very good uh, trait to have there. Nothing to report on that guy. See, I, he's a better goal scorer, sure, but this Dale Haley guy just seems like the better piece to have on the team, the right guy to have. So that's probably who we're going to go for. We don't need that defenseman. So yeah, and then our own pick is way back here, obviously, 32nd. So maybe we do want to look around the trade. Package in that 32nd plus Manning for a good second line center, or one who produces better. Maybe that's what we should start thinking about here. So after these uh, couple picks and after we make our pick, we'll start looking for that. So Holmberg went first. Yeah, it just goes direct with central scouting. Second should be the power four. There he is. Don't have overalls turned on. <laughs> Forgot to do that for this one. I don't even know if I have the uh, potentials turned on here. I kind of just got into this because I wanted to talk about the... Uh, the whatchamacallit. Alright, so let's just grab Haley here. Dale Haley. Scoop him up. There he is. So he should be very good for this team. Uh, probably even start NHL ready. <laughs> Where is that? Probably. Yeah. I just love those uh, that personality assessment. Okay, so 
Let's actually start looking since that 32nd pick. I mean, there are some good things around there. We also got Marty Lynch, but I think we're going to tender him and get the compensation. We also have yet another franchise goaltender. Yeah, Marty Lynch. We got another franchise goaltender. <laughs> oh, kind of crazy. We have these guys who were sort of trained to be backups. Yeah, definitely going to just retain Lynch here. So let's see here. You're going to have Manning. He's got a good chunk of value, too. Really good chunk of value to him. Watch him go somewhere else and just be amazing. <laughs> Whatever, though. Uh, what else? What was the other thing? Oh, yeah, the 32nd. So we package those two things together. What is available for centers? No... All right, Venberg, I don't think he's second line. No, Galchenyuk probably first, yeah. Better production, though. Yeah. Fortunately, the scouting's a bit rough right now. Yeah, rough scouting right now. Okay, keep going here. Let's see. 86 for this Kirby Doc guy with a lot of value. Why is he 86 with that much value? First line. Very interesting, but damn, does he produce well. I am wondering why. Maybe his shot boosts him up that high, but... He's got a ridiculously good deal. Maybe... Oh, he might have statistical growth or something. No, he's got elite... Uh, I'm, not, I'm still not sure about that one. Uh, Bo Horvat, again, listed as first liner. Not really good production either. McDavid Drysaddle obviously don't work. Yeah, most of these guys are just kind of... Now this, okay, this guy produces a bit better. Randell, 27, 85 overall. Well, maybe 86, maybe a bit lower. But those offensive stats are looking at least comparable to Manning's. It seems like he produces more. He's on the second line, but first power play line. How many points were on the power play? 19 of those. So I'd say, maybe, uh, let's say 10 for the second unit. Because, I don't know, cut it in half. That's probably overdoing it, but that's still 57 points. Eh, but other years kind of suffer the same fate. How's he doing in the playoffs? Hard to say. But that's sort of an option there, Rondell. Konechny, also another option. Bit on the older side, listed as first liner by the looks of it. Maybe that'll change, but I don't know. Caught Kanyemi, rough. Rough deal in this one. Probably playing first line, though, since I don't have anyone good. Yeah, it's just... Yamamoto's got to have... Wait. Okay, hold on. Yamamoto, maybe. Second line. Power play one. Good contract. Good production. At least consistent. He's freaking consistent as hell with that production. But I believe he was on first line a lot. Although, in the playoffs, this year, not so good. Other years are decent. Eh, pretty damn good other years. So, maybe Kyler Yamamoto's a guy. But how's her fa eh, face-offs are 90? Well, it might be a bit lower, but still, that's real. Oh, my goodness. Kyler Yamamoto might be the guy. You know what? I might wait on it. I mean, we, we can't use that 32 anymore, but we don't have to if we're going for someone like Yamamoto. Like, that's that's very obtainable. Yamamoto might be a decent pickup right there. Let me actually go back and see what his poise was, or at least uh, 88. Yeah, I'm liking, I li I'm liking Yamamoto a bit. What? Do we have, like, that personality? Nothing to report. At least, you know, he's neutral. For some, Maybe Manning had that thing of, like, sometimes he doesn't want to win enough. You know, that personality straight? Because, damn, it seems like that. He doesn't produce that well. So maybe Yamamoto's the answer to that. And by that value, we wouldn't have to give up that 32nd, I don't think. No, I don't think so. I, so we can hold off on that. We don't have to do that right now. They, uh, We'd be over the cap, but don't... Mm. That's a lie. That won't matter. Yeah, so we can't make that trade go through right now anyway because we got the uh, 
still existing cap. So, all right, let's not worry about that. Let's, I guess we'll just use that 30 second to pick someone here. And we'll see what is available. So, there's a top nine. Ooh. So, low elite. Unfortunately, Central Scouting has him at 31, so we couldn't get him. We'd have to... We'd have to move that slightly up. Center playmaker might not be bad to have. No weaknesses. Perfect. So maybe he won't be shit at faceoffs. <laughs> I'd be happy. I'd be definitely willing to trade up for that guy. Why is that's so interesting that our scout has this guy ranked a bit higher, even though he's a top nine. This guy's the low elite ranked lower. But central scouting, I believe, has it right. At least in my opinion. So we can grab that. We'd have to make a trade, which should be very doable. It's only one spot above. I don't know if New York will want to deal with us, but let's... We just beat him for the Stanley Cup, and we're trying to uh, steal some stuff from him. So we'll make it very uh, worth their while here. We'll give him our third as well in there. 96th. Before I do that, though... <laughs> I'm always min-maxing here. That's the 96th. Yep, okay. I <laughs> just making sure I didn't have something pinned around there. Like it doesn't really matter, but And a crash. Okay, I guess we're trying this again. There we go. Just drafted that guy. He's actually 82 overall. The only good thing about Oh my god, look how high overall these guys started. 84, 84, 82. <laughs> kind of freaking crazy. Anyway, the only good thing about that is I was able to turn on the overalls, but the bad thing is we had two other scouts retire. <laughs> and I don't know about player retirements. I didn't bother to look at it, but yeah. Crashes, man. It's been happening a lot recently with this franchise, and I don't know why. Anyway, what were we. Oh, yeah, we're going to try to trade up here for this 31. There's nothing at that 96 that we wanted, though I don't have the guys pinned anymore, but I can go and pin them easily. So let's do that. And make this go through. Have it. Okay. Now we'll sim all the way up to that pick and grab that dude we're looking at. Eddie. That's the other uh, red elite. Low elite. Whatever. Willsy. Alright, so hold on. Let me, let me pin the guys I want to again real quick. Oh. It's a different button here. Oh, wait. No, not you. All right, now what? Okay. All those. Looks like the scouting's a bit different, too. <laughs> that guy doesn't have the three ticks anymore. Yeah. So there's no autosave when it, like, crashes like that. I had to go all the way back to the... Right after we won the cup and just sim through. Luckily, I'd already offered the extension, so... They just accepted those, but god damn. So annoying... Anyway, 31st pick here. Willsey. I love this guy because he's got no negatives. Nothing to report. Neutral, good leadership, offensive instincts, and foot speed. So you like that. So pick him up. There we are. 64 overall, center playmaker. Low elite, 17 years old. Solid. Solid pick right there. Summing up to the next here. It's the 36th overall. Missed out on a low elite defensive defenseman. Don't know if I had him pinned or anything like that. But 58th. That we, we can probably get that with our next. Oh wait, no. Because our next is no. All right, never mind. We got that one. Yeah, we can get in with the next. Cool. So let's make that pick here. We can even get that top six guy. This Getzloff guy. Power forward Getzloff. Pretty solid. Bad character and hands. I'm not a fan of that if he's got bad character. We don't need guys like that. Size and strength, goal scoring, nose for the net. Those are all cool. That's all well and good, but... Bad character. Some concerns if he can handle a professional environment but does care about winning. Like, that's nice. We could also take grab this guy, take a chance on him. Or another two-way forward. 
or up in two way forward. Weak agility, good offensive instincts, work ethic, and maturity. Has a pro mentality. Any team would love to have him in the room. I like that. How about this guy? No weaknesses. Takes winning seriously. Has an incredible drive to win, but loyalty is a concern. Hmm. Looks like he's very good offensively, though. Although he didn't score that much, considering all that. And he might not even be... Even though this guy's got weak agility, I like his other stats more. And I love the personality thing. That's what you really got to look for, too. Like, I think that's very important to chemistry. I could be completely wrong, but... I don't know. See, this guy, low top six. I mean, he could jump up, but he could also be a low top six. So that guy right here could honestly be a low top six. And with that production, C- minus competition, and he only got that kind of production. I'm not too sure about that, you know? I love that he has no weaknesses, but then takes winning seriously, has incredible drive to win, but loyalty is a concern. That's one thing I don't like. Whereas this guy, on the other hand... Pro mentality, we'd love to have him in our room. Nothing about really wanting to win, but still. Role player, man. Yeah, let's pick up this Ronin guy. Over the potential elite. Sounds crazy, but personality things matter. So 60 overall, top 6 guy. Now we can sim up here. Let's see what that one dude was. That was him. So he did turn out to be a low elite. But that production is very interesting. Only 16 goals in 29 6 and 64 games played against C minus competition. I don't know. I don't know about that, you know? It's weird. Alright, so here we are. High fringe starter. Those guys are brilliant to have as backups. But there was a elite goaltender around here that we could just basically get for free. So free trade value. Take it. <laughs> don't pass up the free trade value. And we didn't have our own second. So there we go. We don't have a third now. So we're going to skip all the way into the fourth round. Don't crash on me again, please. Thank you. And it's the last pick of the fourth round, 128. We might actually miss out on some of the pin guys, but that doesn't really matter. I ain't going to try to min-max and trade for everything. But we actually didn't. We got Jesus Lee here. Jesus. Wow. All negatives. Some concerns, <laughs> some concerns if he can handle professional environment, but he does care about winning. Well, he's got no positives, all negatives, and they're all pretty hefty negatives. And concerns if he can handle a professional environment, but he does care about winning. No. But he's driven to win. Gets emotional at times. That's okay. Good character, good worth it, get the good compete level. Bit weak on the skating by the looks of it. And doesn't produce at all <laughs> but that's a medium elite and that's some trade value there well perhaps a medium elite could be a medium top six then there's also this guy one back guaranteed nothing to report weak competition and didn't produce again it is trade value but Really not a fan of the uh, injury prone thing. But again, this is probably trade value event, if anything. Dropped down pretty far. <laughs> Neither of these guys are good. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Looks like he has weak offensive. Yeah, very weak offensive consistency. I agree. All right, well, I'm going to grab this guy just for the trade value's sake, even though he's actually trash. That's at least trade value. <laughs> he's at least a medium elite. It's 56 overall. Man, that was just bad. <laughs> that was a bad crop that we had to choose from right there. Very bad crop. All righty, what next here? Um, all very late. But, I don't think we even have that many picks left. No, not view draft class. What am I doing? Picks. Trade. Go to trade screen. There we are. Alright, so... 
We have three draft picks left, so we can get three out of four of those guys. So, okay. We'll just pick them all. We'll just pick all off the board here, because they all look pretty good. All are at least low elites. This gem guy should probably pick him first. Sontag. Weak on face-offs. What a surprise. Has a pro mentality. Cares about winning and seems very loyal. Those are really good personalities traits. Weak on skating, but hey. I really like everything else about him. Listed as a gem for sure. Pick him up. Sontag. That's the only bad thing about winning the cup. 52 overall, low elite, and he was 18, okay. Yeah, you're probably not going to find too many guys high overall here. Next pick here in the sixth. Let's see what else. Let's look through all these guys. And see which one would be best suited. McIntyre. Weak on face-offs. He's a center. Defend the other two are defensemen. Gets emotional, is driven to win. Good defense, passing and character, weak skating. That's all just skating stats, so that's not too bad. Oh no, this guy's sorry. I misread this. C is a D. Weak face-offs, of course. There are some concerns about how he keeps his emotions in check. Uh, that's his only trait, though. Honestly, I think the forward and defenseman is the best gets emotional at times he is driven to win that's good and this one there are some concerns about how he keeps his emotions in check like that's the only thing so penalty taker I, I don't know penalty 22 penalty minutes and 32 games played yeah I'd say that's a lot and again, also weak on face-offs. This guy's a sniper. Good shot utilization. Weak skater, weak face-offs, but become a winger and then you don't have to worry about face-offs. Good shot utilization is at least good. So yeah, I'd say probably McIntyre and Doyle here are the picks. Doyle can get picked first because we want to save as much time. So grab Doyle. And... 54 overall low elite. Okay, and for the last pick of the draft, we'll take that guy and make his freaking day. He's not even listed to be drafted here, and we're going to make his day. McIntyre. DeAndre McIntyre. 5'8", man. He's a little guy. <laughs> there he is. Grab him. There he goes. Okay. Let's see. Can I see that overall real quick? 50-something. All righty. So those are our picks for this draft pretty dang good i think they're all elites besides one top six or something like that yeah i think so <laughs> all righty so that's that draft is taken care of now we got the re-sign phase to worry about and we have a couple more expiring con contracts here all right yeah 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 let's see about the scouts first off Really upset that I lost my uh, USA Central scout. He was probably there. All my scouts, pretty much at this point, were like A or A plus. So it sucks to lose any of them. But I went from losing one scout to then having three freaking retire. That was dumb. Krivik is just the Dell scout, so his overall doesn't matter too much. I can always find a better one and then fire him later or switch his region. Because he's very good in all those European and pretty good in Scandinavia. Decent at Russia. Like, yeah, he's, he's solid. Plus, Dell is in a big league, so B- minus for that guy is pretty good. Because he's in the minor league, so he's got longer to work with it. USA East, again, not a major league. Probably doesn't need to be that good, but USA East can have its years. Oh, that's derp -a derp not the guy. Labrie, where are you at? OHL, definitely want this guy back. A minus, A plus in the region. Yep. Get him back. And then we have to hire three new scouts here. None of them will be as good as all these guys. Rip. <laughs> so we lost our guy from the Liga, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it was the extra Liga. No, I'm pretty sure it was the Liga. And then the, our USA East guy. Man, that was a rough one.
All right, let's check out the contracts here. So first and foremost, we're going to tender Lynch. And then he's probably going to get signed by someone else, and we're going to get a crap ton of picks. You will levy, and we're not really going to sign. we got 12 mil of cap space available. We could sign him, but again, these guys should grow. Guys like Kubis, Lampman as well. Lampman needs a freaking contract. Welcome to the abusive entry levels. Damn. <laughs> 85 overall, and he's going to be on an entry level for three years. Paris, he's going to need an extension next year. Stole, same thing. Same with Boyle. Oh, that's the other Boyle. Honka didn't want an extension, and he dropped down to 78. Might be statistical minuses, probably mostly morale. But we got this Boyle guy coming up. Another offensive defenseman, though, I'm pretty sure. No, he's a two-way guy. Solid. He's actually got solid stats, too. Not a righty, though. And we kind of needed a righty. We still have Barodziak. But yeah, Honka is good in that sense because he's a right-handed defenseman in our top six. So I might just try to get him back anyway. Even though he doesn't want to come back. Even though we used him as depth. That was only because we picked up Ewell Levy. So we're going to have... Let's see here. For our defensive core. One, two, three, four... Five. Oh, God. <laughs> we already got six again. <laughs> yeah, he can't play depth, obviously. We can do that mix and a match thing again, get some guys some extra ice time. But it'll be tough. And we also have a. We also might have a lot of growth. But still, at the same time, we got six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So, yeah. All right, Honk is gone. Hmm. Uh, you will have gone. Rental guy. Uh, getting Lampman, of course, to the entry level. Haley guy, I'd probably sign him because he's really good. It might actually have to be a Henrik replacement because <laughs> Henrik's going to want a crap ton of money. I don't know. I don't know. Jesus, but look how many. We have just insane. You know what? With how good that guy was, though. That might be a thing. Hold on. He's probably got good, fa decent face-offs. So if I change him to a center. Because usually when they're drafted that high, they got decent face-offs. I can't tell yet, but I'm willing to bet that guy has decent face-offs. So what if I change him to a center and use him to eventually replace Manning? Get a rental this year? Could work. Poor Wilcox doesn't have good face-offs. Really good. We're going to have a ridiculous team again. Yep, very ridiculous. Um, J.C. Tucker doesn't really fit into our team. He's listed as a depth guy. What kind of contract does he want? Oh, okay. Yeah. You can play my AHL with that contract. <laughs> uh, probably Hudson Adams. Allison is a fourth liner. Really not that good. So if I can't get him to a really cheap deal, hmm, hold off on that. Appleton doesn't want an extension. Yeah, I'm not going to use him. He dropped back down to an 81. So, thank you for the cup help. We'll be moving on. Uh, what you talking about? Willis. Depth guy as well. Another sort of weirdly built playmaker. Perfect. AHL type deal. Even though it's a one way. LeBlanc. If he wants a real deal, I can't really give it to him. Nope. Bye bye. I'm not even going to tender him. not going to bother. All right, Spezza. I, oh, yeah, because I, 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 I actually did get that guy back, but because of the crash, I don't have him back now. I was going to use him as depth again, but we might have that sort of covered now. Wait. Uh, 11. Yeah, God damn it. So that's 10. That was starting at Leech. No, Haley. 11. 
12 is Sim, yeah. So, we could get Spets back to be our depth guy again. And that's what I was thinking about using him as anyway. 79, 25, let's say fourth liner, solid defensive. Not amazing. 88, 80, and 83, but again, he's depth, so doesn't, do they need to be amazing? Not really. He might want more than what I got him for at the... Well, actually, with that, with the maths on that, I got him for around 1.5. If I can get him around that, that's a solid depth contract, so I'm going to look. Pretty sure I can. A little bit higher than 1.5, but... Worth. Oh, yeah, unfortunate right there. I'd have to get him for. So worth for depth, definitely. Uh, Hemalinen. Could let him go. Could have also used him as depth instead. Minor checking for... Hold on. He might actually want some two-way deals here. He does. And I was using him as a minor checker anyway. So we can get him back. But we might also have guys to... Sort of replace that. This is Cade Carpenter, the center. The grinder. Still kind of work. He still has an other forward, which is very odd. But I can get him for... That means I can get him for a two-way deal. So obviously get him back. Hamelinen, I'm not sure about... Yippee pie Oh my goodness, those offensive stats. Entry level for you. Kurashev, we can be done with him now. If we're going to get all those other dudes. Rodriguez. Pretty sure you don't pass up signing this guy at all. No reason to. Yeah, we could probably get rid of Hamalainen with all these new guys. We're not going to have room for everyone, so Hamalainen is nothing. Let him go play elsewhere and maybe get some NHL time. 66 at 21, but it's a medium elite. Uh, <laughs> that's the bullcrap glitch guy. Mr. Low Elite, who turned into an AHL top 6. Bullshit. Uh, top 9, 58 at 20. Yeah, about that. Bye-bye. All right, everyone else can remain off. I offered or pick. There we go. Defense here. 24 at 74. What do you like, huh? What are you like? Really poorly built, too. Doubtful we'll be able to get anything back if we tendered. He's not going to be doing anything. Let's get rid of him. We could sign a couple of these other guys who are decent enough. 73 and 19. Like, I should just maybe even sign this guy now. Because, yeah, I think, I believe I could use him in my AHL. And 73 overall, solid. So sign him. That guy doesn't need to be near as this guy. Or these guys. This guy signed. Yeah, because I was blind on his overall. Ugh. We only really have three, well, maybe four with Boyle. Boyle might have to stay down another year, but he's listed as top six. Uh, I might actually have to play him top. Ugh, I don't know, because if we're going to go with all these defensemen. Yeah, another good problem. Too many good defensemen once again. But yeah, we were actually low on defensemen here. At least prospect-wise. Could maybe sign that guy just to see what he does when he grows. Because I want to at least control where some guys play. Because as of right now... We only got four guys who are going to be playing. Which is not too good. We can get this guy. That'll be five at least. And then pick up the slack everywhere else. Oh, yeah, that's that really bad guy. Well, hey, maybe we could turn him to a really good AHL asset, so screw it. I'll sign him to play him, I guess. Yeah. Oops. Didn't do anything with Foss, eh? <laughs> 58 at 20 as a medium elite. It's not that good. We got to either move this guy or sign him. Got these two dudes signed. It's my AHL. Yikes. I might just let him go. I'm probably just going to let him go, man. I'm not using these guys to trade for it all. Like, I don't need anything. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. Let someone else have them. I do not care. I have so many ridiculously good prospects. We just drafted another elite. 
free value. Hmm. All right, let's advance a day here. <laughs> All right, we got that scout back. We got Holmberg, Tucker, Willis. Pretty sure no one's going to decline here. Uh, Spets rejected. Yeah, 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 because he's not happy with his ice time. Now I'm a little bummed I let Hamalainen go. Could have used him as depth. <laughs> Well, whatever. Again, we're not even strapped for cash. We, we actually have a lot. What the hell did I not sign? Uh. Herpa de derp. Should sign him. Heard he's pretty good. Didn't sign this guy. Interesting. What? Did he reject or did I just not sign him? Oh, yeah, because he wanted the real deal. I was going to hold off on that. He's not good enough to be, he's not even a defensive type player. I mean, his stats are decent enough defensively to be depth, but he's not getting, wanting a depth contract. How are we looking for in the system forwards? Still got Boro. Um, let me just look at centers here. We got Carpenter sign. We got Boro still. Duchesne on his last year. Got this CFB Pie. Uh, yeah, we're pretty set. I could honestly just let him go. Yeah. Alright. Leave it. Flip it over. Alright, Leech. Come on now. We got money. I'll give you some I'll give you some cash to play depth for me. This guy, 79 and 19. Probably going to leave him off contract for an extra year just to abuse that entry level. He'll probably jump up a crop ton like everyone else, so screw it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to abuse those entry levels. I think that's pretty much it there. Yep. If we get those guys signed, we'll be solid. All right, so Burden, Borden, we either got to trade this year or we'll just sign him next year. All right, Haley accepted. Spets is still rejected. Not happy with that ice time. You're a depth guy, though, man. What can I say? Huh. We got the money. Yeah, we really got the money. There you go. <laughs> Take your two million to play depth for me, you asshole. He's solid. And everyone else is good. Watch them reject that too. I'll fuck I'll say screw him and pick up Hamalinen to play depth. Hamalinen won't complain. Okay, there we go. Spets accepted the offer. He's like, okay, two million to sit in the press box. Can't deny that. I wouldn't either, man. Two million to watch hockey most nights. It's amazing. So we still got 11 mil to work with here. Which we'll probably be saving for some extensions here. We got Colborne to one more year. We got Henrik's going to want a deal. Karpovsev's going to want a deal. Like These are going to be some pretty hefty prices. Guy like Karpovsev might be able to be replaced. Which is tough to say. Coming off of the year he just had. But, well, also, the, no, he's going to be the center. If we change him to the center. We also got this Wilcox guy. We got just so much here. A ridiculous amount. Too much, in fact. Too much offense, but we can we can maybe win that cup again this year. And that's what we're going to try to go for. All right, we're going to sim up to free agency now. See what's available. We got the other scout back. I also got to get three new scouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So here we are. Haglund's back. What happened? And another Svechnikov who potential changed. Yeah, Andrei Svechnikov's potential changed. Did someone only get him for one year? Like, what happened? Or did he get bought out? Like, no. Did they only get him for one year? Maybe he it waited so long that they're only able to afford him. At least the team's interested in him right now. And Svechnikov, so that's good at least. We probably don't need any, obviously don't need any of these guys. 
but it's pretty interesting watching them all here. <laughs> Vasiliev! He was on the Rangers, wasn't he? Was he? Pretty sure he was. Yeah, he was on the Rangers. Because they got swept and they only played 12 games up to that point. <laughs> right? They were like 12. No, they're 12 and 1. Oh, maybe not. No, yeah, 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 yeah. They're 12 and 2. So four, yeah, derp. Yeah, so he, yeah, uh, Vasil uh, Vasiliev was on the Rangers. He did a pretty damn good uh, playoffs there. He's a center. Second line confirmed. Unfortunately, listed as a first liner. And we scouted him on that first line. However... That's a lot. That's a pretty big price. Yeah, a lot of people are interested in him as well. Eh, I don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to get much here in free agency. Like, we can get one of those guys, but... This guy... Yeah. So I'm not too sure what to do about free agency here. Maybe you guys have a good idea. And uh, also what we should do with Manning. Should we use him to trade for a second liner? So remember, we're going to have about an extra 4.8 mil to that. So we'll have about 16 million. We'll rough, we'll, you know, go down a little bit. Say we have 16 million once we trade Manning. We could afford Vasilyev. And we could do it short term, like one to two years. And it doesn't change too much. So we could offer him over. And have him to play second line for a bit. Or we could use the money to trade. For one of the other guys that we were looking at. In uh, in the draft before the crash happened. <laughs> so yeah, let me know about that. Let me know about any other uh, things you'd like to see. And uh, definitely let me know. I was thinking this might be the last year of this franchise. So it all kind of depend on how much, you know, how much love the series is getting, likes, views, etc. So, you know, if, if this series still has interest, you know, I'll keep it going. Maybe I'll even start like another franchise while this is still going. If I if I just want to keep it open, maybe, you know, less uploads for it, but, you know, keep it going. Because I do, it, 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 it sucks when you like start falling in love with the team because it's so hard to kind of end it. Even though it might be what is quote unquote best for the channel, for the series itself. It's hard, man. But uh, so let me know about that as well, guys. So... Let's see if we can defend our cup this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow. And you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.